Kim and Cuddles, the Iron Defender here. We are going to do the challenge, uh, House Canis Challenge, Dr. Rushmore's Mansion Picture Portals. So uh, without further ado, let's hop in and get started. This is very similar to Moving Targets. It uses exactly the same map as all of the other um, Rushmore's Mansion challenges but like uh, all challenges have slightly different uh, sets of objectives this one it's actually quite easy to get one of the optional objectives all you have to do is not click on the teleporter boxes since they teleport you around randomly um, there's really no reason to click on them because they usually will just end up stuck behind doors that you can't open so here we go I do recommend picking up your tokens if you plan to do challenges. You get a free token every day. Makes it easy to get crests you out of those. A uh, out of the corner of your eye. A disembodied my voice pet going. Says, and I have no ammo. I prepared very well for this. So we have uh, our main objectives. We have to kill at least one boss. We want to also, if possible, open the gates. There are 16 gates. We want to kill the other bosses. This one has kind of a weird objective, uh, which is to sell two minutes to the Elder Time Foreman, which means that you need to have two minutes that you can afford to sell him. So you need to complete the place at least two minutes early to get all of those stars. You can sell him the, the minutes at any time, and he will give you a, um, what the heck is it? Uh, one of the power-ups. You can pick which one you want, in fact. Hey, Magnet. Oh. If you look on the map, the elder, the, the, the time foreman is that little yellow thing, so he's going to be over here in this room. If you talk to him, he will follow you. But he gets hung up on the terrain, so he doesn't follow you very effectively. <laughs> Although sometimes I have been surprised by how uh, far he got into the dungeon. So you can uh, just leave him here if you want to. He doesn't always spawn in that room. He's randomly somewhere around the beginning of the dungeon. But um, if you have Dimension Door at all, you can, or um, you, you get a touring tonic from the DDO store, it's very easy to just come back if you leave him there to sell your time later. Sometimes when I'm doing this, I will actually sell him the time right away just to get it over with. But you can wind up short if you're not careful, and I haven't been really challenged a lot lately, so I'm going to not assume my own awesomeness invisibility and leave him be for now. You can avoid these portraits and not trigger them to spawn mobs, but uh, if you're doing it by yourself, it spawns fewer crests because you get crests from kills and breakables, and it spawns fewer mobs, so you get fewer crests. Um, so I recommend deliberately killing absolutely everything that you can uh, without, you know, completely destroying your time. Super slow here. Get the lay out. Shake a leg. Every time you open a door, which you do by putting the crests in next to the door, it's pretty self explanatory. So these teleporter boxes are the you know teleporters that you can't let mobs go through. If you do want to use them, which I do not recommend. 
um, you can prevent mobs from going through them by just making sure that you've killed everything that is aggroed on you. This can be difficult because the illusionary mobs are a little bit uh, transparent. So there can be a mob that's aggroed on you and will follow you gradually through the teleporter that you failed to notice. And if you if they go through at all, it screws up that star. So I don't recommend Hi, using the teleporters. They are completely random. Boy, you will end up some bizarre place in the um, in the dungeon. And since all the doors are one way, you can have no way to get back out again except for by using the teleporter again. If the doors aren't open yet. Come on, get the crest. The reason why I'm going up here is that uh, there are very frequently crests on the floor all over the dungeon. They usually spawn in similar places. Up in this gallery area is one of them. There are very frequently crests up on the gallery or even just lying around on the ground out here. See, there's one up there, one up there. So we got some crests to pick up. The crests are completely random, so you can't really be guaranteed of getting a good distribution. Your only protection against not having the crest that you need is to just pick up as many as you possibly can and hope for the best. Um, there is what's called a skeleton key crest that uh, drop randomly. They're on the rare side or you can get them on the DDO store, but you can only use one in the entire challenge. Um, if you double click on a cr um, a crest socket where you don't have the crest it will use your skeleton key crest and you will not be able to use it uh, again checkpoint time extended by so you minutes. gotta be careful and pay attention to putting crests in and not just do what some people do which is to just go up there and just start randomly hitting the buttons as fast as you possibly can that's not productive <laughs> exercise some self-control <laughs> I've, had, I've done this Checkpoint. with people Time in the past where they were not exercising self-control and they were actually taking the crests that I had put in out of the door <laughs> while I was trying to put them in. And then being, and then they would be all, I don't have any crests. I'm like, you just picked up the crests that I put in. You have the freaking crest, put it in. Not a fastest fingers challenge, just clicking things as fast as you can is not going to do any good. There's almost always something up there by that orb. Not, not 100%, but it's worth checking. Um, there's often frequently uh, something just on the floor here in the middle of the library too. If you do this a few times, you kind of learn where crests are and where the breakables are. So you keep your eyes open. And yes, even if there's one breakable, it's still worth doing it because you can get a crest. And you need lots of crests. All right. The, the map is split up into two halves that are there's a secret passage that join them but and uh if you don't want to use the secret passage you have to open a bunch of doors to be able to get from one half to the other half quickly we are doing the basically the i guess what you could call the south half um, which is where the assassin is there are a bunch of bosses that are accessible uh, via this side 
but then if you don't use the secret passage, it can be a very long run to get back to the other side. Ideally, the fastest way to do this, although because uh, is to actually do this with another person, split up and have them do the other side. But that can be prohibitive for several reasons, like, you know, you're not super strong, so you die by yourself, that's not time efficient. <laughs> so as you see, our first door had one crest, the ones uh, out in the courtyard area had two, this one has three. They revealed. can have up to four crests, in fact all of the doors from now on that we find will have four. Uh, I think so. Uh, no, that's not quite right. There's uh, the two doors in the banner hall still take three. But the number of crests you need to open the doors inflates quickly. Excellent. There are a bunch of traps down here. You can see that there are boxes for the trap, but um, you don't get anything for disarming them, and the trap, assuming you're, you know, reasonably well geared and survivable, for your level, um, the trap is pretty negligible, so I just run through it, I don't stop to disarm it. There is almost always a crest up here on this pillar, which you can get if you jump just right. I'm not doing it well. Come on. Getting lagged because of the traps firing. Did I get it? Yes. There's a dog down here, so cuddles can participate in this challenge. There are six types of crests in here. What I like to do to keep track of them is to just search crest and it'll show you everything you got. You can see I have a ton of skeleton key crests. Because I do challenges Aww. fairly often. Cuddles down here, smashing the place. Good Double job, speed. him. And here is our first boss. Um, this is where you will find the assassin. There's almost always crests down here in the water, so it's a good idea to jump down here and check for them. Assassin's behind this floor crest door. Checkpoint. Time extended no, I didn't really by two look minutes. at what we've got crest wise. We're actually doing fairly well. You can do the speech checks with him, and he'll follow you for a little while, but he always inevitably, blah, blah, inevitably d betrays you. So I just kill him on the spot, because he can get hung up on the terrain, just like the Elder Time Foreman, and then you have no clue where the hell he is. You gotta go back and find him, it's a waste of time. So we are gonna go up the, the next passage around the corner here. And uh, that one is also filled with traps, so I'm going to have uh, Cuddles stay here. The other back door. Sounds kind of wrong, don't really want to think about it. You notice up here that there is a green arrow on the door. The doors, as I said, are one way. So you can only open them from the green side. The other side of the door is marked with a red symbol. There are no crest, uh, oh, crest uh, sockets on the other side of the door, so you can't open them. This up here is where Mistress Temptia is in the boudoir. Where else would you expect to find a succubus? So we will kill her and have two basses out of the five then. The problem with coming in here to do uh, this is that uh, the 
you have there is you cannot open the door here from this side so you have to run back through the traps um, you can go the other direction and open that door but then you've got to go back uh, all the way around and go through the traps to open the door the other door so if you're working to getting all of the gates open you're gonna have to backtrack here in some way unless you have a second person and split up and one of them does one side and the other one does the other side so we will run the back through the traps My sentient gen complains with me for being a goober and getting hit by traps. He has a low opinion of my competence. Get all the mobs that we picked up. Now, some uh, notes about the score. The number of ingredients that you get at the end of this is not based on your stars. It is based 100% off of that number there, which is your score. You increase your score by killing the bosses. Each of the bosses is worth about 500 points, give or take. There's also an optional boss down here called the Mother of the Nest, who's also worth about four or 500 points. Um, the other way that you build up your score is by killing mobs. So if you're after ingredients, the most efficient way to do it, if you've got multiple people, is to have someone just run around and viciously kill everything as uh, effectively as they can while the other people are doing crests and doors and so forth. I hadn't noticed, but I think you also get... Um, You also get uh, the, the, the you also get points for opening the gate, but I haven't looked. Also, if you do this with more people, um, it spawns more mobs faster, so you get a higher score regardless. This is a fun little puzzle, uh, but it takes time to do. Wow, there's like three monkeys on that one thing. But you get time for opening these doors. Very nice. I'm gonna do the puzzle as fast as I can and uh, see if I can get some of these crests. Especially if there's a monkey crest, because I hate it when that door eats, like, all of your crests of one type. This isn't working out so well. Let's try going the other way.
I made a loop. A pointless loop of purposelessness. Yay, we got all the crests. And we didn't waste too, too much time. So hid here is another boss. This is uh, Ugly Assertive. If you look on your map, you can see the red things where the bosses are. So that can be helpful if you're not super familiar with the map. Of course, it doesn't tell you how to get there. Ugg summons earth elementals and they give him basically damage reduction. Assuming they are actually close enough to him to be effective. If you kill the earth elementals, he resummons them after a few seconds. So it's fast just to kill him first. And then the elementals. Alright. As you see, this door is only openable from the other side, so we gotta backtrack again. Now that secret passage in the baths will come in handy because we are on the opposite side. We want to get to the other side and start reopening stuff there. And the secret passage is the fastest way to get over there. Um, the one thing to note is that there are a whole ton of breakables in this hallway here. And um, if you just run straight back to the baths, you will miss them. And if you skip breakables, you can run out of crests or not have the right crest and not be able to go any further and run out of time. So I'm actually going to take at least a little time here and do these breakables. as quickly as possible so I can open more doors and get more time. But there are there are almost always a couple of crests even just lying on the floor in this room here, which is the the uh, floor pretty much. It's the walk-in cooler. Oh life on their restaurant, I guess. And as you see, this door has a red sigil on it, so we can't open it from this side either. We need to book it, get back to the baths, go through the secret passageway, and get to the banner hall, where we, which is the next place where we will put in uh, doors. If we had taken the other side, we would have gone through this room down here, which is the bathroom. So here we are back at the secret door. I am 
just going to zerg straight through this passageway. The vermin down here are pretty good at uh, chasing you. There is almost always a crest underneath the, the yuck here. Um, if you get in the pool, you will get stinked. Which isn't that significant, but some people don't find that annoying. Uh, do, 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 stop and for just a second and kill the mother of the nest. You notice our score went from 2200 to 2700, so she is... Uh, this cave -in looks killing recent. her is a really good way it to is run too your convenient score. to be an accident. Oh, it's gonna be tight. Come on, little legs. Run, run, run. Thank you, auto search. Saving me a few precious seconds there. Run, 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 run. Hurry, hurry. Go faster, go faster. door open. This door, um, since we opened the stuff over there by Ugly Assertive and Mistress Temcha actually will um, basically unite the two halves now so that we can get back in easily. There's one other door uh, that is important and that's the one coming up here that's in the armory. I'm going to come up here and there's another door not far away. So I'm going to hop up here and show you how to get the crests that are up top here in the banner hall. Uh, do, 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 do. What you do is you jump up on the throne and you can hop up here. Getting onto these things is a little tough. And then there are usually several crests up here that you can get to by jumping. jump down there it's hard to get back up we're running low on time so I'm just gonna go I think I'm doing okay on crest oh I'm short on octopus crest is there an octopus crest up there I'm just seeing a wolf crest so I'm not gonna bother I think I got plenty of wolf crest yeah I got 10 <laughs> wolf crests are not in shortage welcome to your doom and that, by the way, is why I search the crests in my inventory, because you can make, uh, when time is tight, you can make important decisions like that, like whether it's worth going after a crest that's relatively hard to get to, um, but it's not because it's a wolf crest, and I have plenty of those. These doors open so we've got some time. There is another door right around the corner here. We may also be able to get open. Still got an octopus crest. You catch so. a glimpse of something shiny up on one of those rooftops. Is there I'm a way to, to get risk, up there from uh, here? Going up here to kill a crystal a giant and hope I don't get too badly burned on crests. Eh, I suck at jumping. There we go.
There's still a giant and uh, Rushmore himself uh, are kind of nasty bosses because they summon a bunch of elementals. The air elemental are nasty if you're melee. Um, and the water elemental actually heals them. So you want to kill water elementals first. Don't kill the, the other elementals, elementals because destroyed. they will respawn. And they can respawn as water elementals, which means that all of your DPS progress on the boss goes away. So we've got crystal done. Only got three more gates to open. And then we need to book it back to the beginning. It's an octopus crest. Good, okay, well, we're gonna get that. Do I need a bat crest? I got six, that's probably more than I'm gonna need. I don't think I've ever seen it uh, do four of the same type of crest on a door. I don't think there's any reason why it can't though. Hopefully the door that we need is not gonna be three octopus crests. That would kind of stink. This must be the other end of that caved in passage. Somebody really didn't want to be followed. long run up the stairs to get up here. This is the the secret apartment. And there are two doors on this hallway up here. Shady tenements. Oh, lots of wolf. Checkpoint. <laughs> I'm extending my yeah, two minutes. If you're going to have a door with three crests, the one that you have tons of is the best one to get. And this is where Rushmore is. An Earth Elemental empowers its master. Just gonna run up here, blast everything. An Earth Elemental is an Earth Elemental is vanquished. It's a water Notice, elemental. Yes, I'm ignoring my own advice, which is to only kill the water elemental. I do enough damage that it doesn't really matter. At least in this context. Doop -de doop doop doop. Checkpoint. Time extended by two minutes. And now we just uh, head back to the armory. Normally I would actually do the armory before coming up here because there's breakables in the armory and you can pick up some crests. But I decided to do this area first and then go back. We've got one door left, and then we need to go sell two minutes to the foreman, which uh, I think I did not remember to bring. Okay, dimension door scroll. So I will probably need to actually buy a touring tonic on the DU store. Whoops, my bad. You can sometimes very rarely get them by opening the um, supply chest, but usually you get cobalt gems of uselessness. If I was smart, I would buy a bunch of the uh, hireling that gives you um, Dimension Door, although of course I would have needed to summon him at the beginning of the dungeon, so that will be useless at this point. Let me get my two 
brewing tonic before I run in here so I can just use it the second I've got the door open since I don't really need any more crusts. There's no point in breaking all the crap in the room. Brewing tonic. Of course you can't just buy one, but they're not expensive, so... 10 points does not hurt my feelings. The reason why you don't just use them as a general purpose uh, dimension door is that they only work inside of challenges. Which is also why they're so cheap. Beautiful! Stopping to get that octopus crest was exactly what we needed to do. And now we go sell our remaining time. Um, just because it, you have to sell two minutes to get the star does not mean that you can just stop at two minutes so you can sell all of your remaining time and get out of here much more quickly. Um, this challenge does not end until the time runs out. You will get nothing if you finish out before the time gets out. So just... Give me things. And we're out of time! Yay! We are out of here! Got a nice chunk of XP, although not great for the amount of time we took, which was 36 minutes. But we also got a nice chunk of ingredients, which is 667 epic jeweled goblets. That translates into two tokens of the 12 if you want to turn them in for tokens so pretty cool and that's the end of our run on picture portals thanks for joining kim and cuddles we hope to see you again and if you uh, are feeling generous please like and subscribe and um, enjoy the youtube channel